Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my bullet journal setup for March. And if you're new to my channel, you may want to know that I am very new to sharing content on YouTube. But I have been very active on Instagram sharing time lapse of me working on my journal spreads. And I'm also active in events and workshops on journaling in Singapore. I hope through this channel, I will be able to provide more targeted content. On top of like my time lapse, I'm also hoping that I can have a platform to share tips and tricks that can make journaling more sustainable and enjoyable for you. I'm a huge advocate of journaling and you really don't have to be a professional artist to be able to enjoy the process of journaling at all. So through this channel, I hope to inspire you that anyone can do journaling so i'm really open to content ideas if you feel like there's anything that i'm already doing on my instagram that could possibly share on the youtube platform feel free to drop me a comment on the topics that you wish to know more and if you want to see more content like this please remember to hit the subscribe button let's get to my bullet journal setup for much after watching harley queen's birds of prey I knew I had to doodle her somewhere in my bullet journal. The bright pink on Harley Quinn was also distinctive that I've decided to use it as the colour theme of the month. I try to use a different colour or theme for every monthly collection. For me, the colour or theme sets the mood and style of journaling for the month. I took almost an hour to work on this cover page. There was a lot of layering to do for her fair skin tone and blonde hair. Portrait drawing is not what I'm good at, but I just try my best, especially for her eyes. I have a lot to improve when it comes to drawing the eyes in a portrait. I have mixed some purple into my red watercolour to get a cooler tone of red for her lips. And I love the gradient as a background. Within her eyes, there was a lot of layering going on as well, and more contouring was needed to bring out her features. I have decided to trim a little of the page so that there is a peek through of the spread at the back. This monthly layout gives me the space to transfer information from my future log. Each date occupies 6.5 spaces by 6 spaces in my Leuchtturm 1917 A5 notebook. Every month, there will be different sets of habits that I wish to track based on my activities for the month. I have also allocated a space for me to note my daily gratitude. I have been missing this a lot, a space for me to do my brain dump and notes. And yes, I have set up another tracker just to monitor some health related information. So here is my completed bullet journal set up for March. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to be able to show you more ideas through my flip through videos of my daily log after every month. Do remember to subscribe and here are more videos that may interest you. Thank you and I'll see you very soon.